Okay, so I have a short list of people who might be really happy in a few moments. There's Xbox Series X and S owners, or I guess would be future owners. Fans of Silent Hill, spooky stuff, I know you're out there. Especially if you're fans of the developers who brought you Layers of Fear and Blair Witch. I'd be super excited. And even me, your host, Adrian Epi, because honestly, I enjoy... I enjoy watching other people play this game. This game being the medium by Bluebird Team. Check it. It all starts with a dead girl. The forest. The moon. Scent of pines. And then... The gunshot. Every story has two sides. A regular, rational one but also a darker and deeper truth. Not unlike a nightmare. I can see both. Worse, I can live them. So this game is really where we get a chance to see current gen in action. Well, I mean, we have Marianne, who's characterized eponymously, traverses between the physical plane and the spiritual plane in order to progress through the game. Now, in most areas, this is a complete shift from one realm to another. Now, in other areas, you'll be traversing both at the same time, which means both worlds exist simultaneously as you're playing. It's interesting. It reminds me of time travel heavy games where you dive back and forth to check out you know the cool changes in the game except in this game is split screen sometimes both worlds it's like co-op with yourself but it's not just you or you and you in the game you'll also encounter sadness the person and probably the emotion too now that i think about it oh and a stalking and transigent creature called the maw which can terrorize you on both the spiritual and physical plane, so you have that going for you. And as you're playing, honestly, I feel like it's hard to ignore the Silent Hill vibes. The music is co-composed by Silent Hill familiar Akira Yamaoka. And in addition, the game's camera has these set locations, right? And the perspective kind of gives flashbacks to those games we're familiar with. And as a nice nightcap, there's puzzles that will deal with riddles of, you know, pick that up and put it over here in this room, does it go there? And the medium even has those zoomed in first person views when you're using tools to cut things or put puzzle pieces in place. All familiar, all great. The medium had big ideas and it's no wonder it's been years in the making. It's skipping over various console generations, but after proper delays and polishes, it has arrived for Xbox Series X and S owners. Now, 
This is a digital release, so I recommend an Xbox Game Pass subscription. And just so I don't sound hypocritical, I do personally have Xbox Game Pass Ultimate, which gives me Game Pass, EA Play, Xbox for PC, and Xbox Live Gold. But even a regular Game Pass gives you access to hundreds of games for a set price over a month or monthly period. And that includes the medium. Rated M for Mature. 